talking about my favorite masks today basically the products i use to take my skin from drab to fab after i have just been really bad either about washing my makeup off completely or i've been eating like complete and total trash and i just need to set my skin back to where it needs to be kind of like hitting the reset button on my skin so recently i would say within these last two weeks i have been extremely busy both personally and professionally and it's a blessing of totally not complaining however i've definitely just been taking off my makeup with makeup wipes at night versus actually fully washing my face and i've also been eating everything in sight from oreos to soul food fried chicken mac and cheese i mean and then of course i've been so busy so Inevitably, I have visited somebody's drive through to make sure that I get something in my system and don't pass out from starvation. So my skin definitely started telling on me and kind of revealing my sins because it was kind of just like, yeah, it just started kind of getting out of whack. So I definitely don't like when my skin gets crazy, not that anybody does. So I definitely started noticing breakouts here and I definitely was like, okay, this is getting kind of serious. I usually don't break out, even though I have sensitive skin, I'm not really acne prone anymore, especially as I've gotten older. When I was a teenager, totally. But as I've gotten older, I've gotten less oily and less blemish um, prone as far as my skin is concerned. But one thing that I do make sure that I do is I make sure that I wash my face both in the morning and the evening. So I just have a face wash and I, after I wash my face, I tone and then I moisturize. I do that both in the morning and at, and at night. But then I also make sure that I exfoliate twice a week because I have larger pores, so that's very important. But then I also make it my business to mask twice a month because that is very important just to pull all of the impurities out of your skin and get your skin back to where it needs to be and i think a lot of times people know about cleansing and they know about exfoliating but they totally skip the whole masking process so i'm telling you guys what my three favorite masks are right now the fabulous ladies over at glossier sent me over two masks they sent me over their mega greens galaxy pack and this is a detoxifying face mask and then they sent me over their moisturizing moon mask which is more of like a soothing face kind of just like you know softening up your skin i used these both yesterday for the first time and i have got to tell you that they are sing i mean single-handedly probably the best mask that I have used, you know, with the exception of the mask that I'm going to show you later in this video. But these two together are the dream team. Like my skin automatically looks clearer. It feels so good, you know, and was not harsh on my skin. So the Mega Greens Galaxy, Galaxy Pack it is very much so you know just like kind of like this tingly kind of refreshing kind of mask so it is you can tell it is getting down and dirty of course you just put on a, a pretty generous amount but you want to make sure that it covers your entire face your nose you know um, I don't go way under my eye I kind of try to leave the under eye area open I don't like to cover that or deal too much with that because of course that's really sensitive skin and kind of temp tampering with that skin underneath your eye and you definitely want to keep that area really just for cleansing and for eye creams only but of course I put the mask all over my face and it just started feeling really good it has like some exfoliation beads in it so definitely worked it into my skin you know and then you let it sit on your skin for 20 minutes after it dries and 20 minutes has gone by i rinsed it off with a warm washcloth and just like really got in there wiped it off and automatically my skin was amazing now i do have sensitive skin and for a brown girl i am fair skinned so i was a little bit red but not red because of irritation or that you know something hurt or didn't feel good it was just like my skin had totally just needed that work that it did so that felt really good the great thing about the Glossier mask is that you can use them together so right after the Galaxy uh, the Mega Greens Galaxy pack I used the moisturizing moon mask which was 
I can't even describe it to you in words. Like there's just no words efficient, like efficient enough to describe this. They were, it was just so good. So this is a moisturizing mask. So it's not as thick because this is definitely like more of a traditional mask as far as the consistency is concerned. The moisturizing moon mask feels literally like a cream. It, it almost has like the consistency of a cold cream. So it's like, like if I tip this over, it would like spill. But you put like a generous, like generous yet thin layer all across your face. So you do want it to moisturize. And again, I worked it into my skin while applying it to my face as well. So I left that on for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I wiped it off with a super warm washcloth. And I have got to tell you, my skin automatically felt so supple. It felt so moist. It just was, huh, it just felt so good. You know, like, cause I feel like when your skin goes through that like craziness, when you've been eating like crap or you haven't been drinking enough water, you it kind of has like this dryness to it or like, it's like lackluster even if you do have oily or combination skin it just doesn't feel as moist you know not oily but it doesn't feel as moist as it should be like it, it should have like a suppleness to it and that's what that uh, moisturizing moon mask does it really just rejuvenates the moisture in your skin and it does it pretty much almost immediately and you just let that sit on for another hour I mean another hour another 20 minutes and it's perfect so collectively this takes 40 minutes so it probably took me about an hour altogether by the time I like washed my face and applied the other mask but let me give you a tip on what I did beforehand, which also really, really helped. Of course, the products are great, but beforehand, I boiled a pot of water. When it boiled, I poured it in a large oversized bowl. I have like one of those like oversized like plastic bowls that I bake cakes in and stuff like that. So I poured the water in there. I got a towel and I put my head over the bowl for a cute three minutes to open up my pores and let the steam just really do its work and open up my pores. Opening up my pores really helped the product get in my skin and really work out what was going in there just because it, I'm sure it was just a lot of gunk, a lot of stuff that need to be detoxified and I just felt so much better after I did that. And when I um, poured the water into the bowl, I added two drops. You don't want to do any more than that or else it's going to be really extreme of peppermint oil. And that just gave my skin like a refresh that really, really helped and felt so good. So boiling water, pouring it in a bowl, getting a towel, making sure your face is not touching the water, of course, but it's just getting that steam. But of course, before putting your face into the bowl, you definitely want to add two drops of peppermint oil. And another thing that helps, which I didn't get a chance to do, but adding a bag, like a tea bag of green tea, also really great as well. So after I did that, I got into these masks and then after that I did not even tone because I didn't want to overwork my skin I just went ahead and I put on uh, my moisturizer I currently use their um, priming moisturizer by Glossier it's so great I will put the info to all of these products below but I just had to share this with you guys because I have never used something that got like that changed my skin within like a 24 hour period and at the bare minimum usually it takes two days but these two I think just because you use them like back to back it really 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 sets your skin to it just sets your skin to where it needs to be so love these definitely check these out it is important that while I am telling you you can use them together you can use them separately but if you are going to use them together, you always have to do the Mega Greens um, Galaxy Pack first. So just keep that in mind. The other mask I totally swear by, and it's just so phenomenal, is the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanser Treatment, which is so amazing. Glam Glow, first of all, probably has the best ma the best masks out there, period. They are just so phenomenal at the mud mask situation that you just have to give credit where it's due. They're so good. Um, the very first mask I tried from them was their, it's the one in the black container. It's the, it's like the Tingle Exfoliate, um, gosh, I'm going to find out the actual name and put it below. But this is another one. This is the Power Mud, which is a dual cleanse. Oh, it smells so good. It has pear oil in it. Oh, they just get it. Like, I know this is a little container, and this is 
this is a little bit pricier. I wouldn't say it's expensive, but I definitely wouldn't say it's a um, affordable. It's about 79 bucks. To me, that's not bad, especially because I'm only going to probably use this twice a month. And I could probably get a cool six or seven uses out of this. But to me, it's totally worth it. Um, it smells amazing. You put it on, you work it in, of course, and then you put it on, you let it dry. The thing about this is that it has, um, it distinctively has oils in it. So you're actually going to be oil cleansing while you're using it as well. So of course, it's going to exfoliate. It's going to pull and detoxify. And then you're going to moisturize and of course, cleanse when you take it off. And I usually leave it on for about 10-15 minutes, you know. I, I usually leave it on till it like dries. And then when it dries, I don't even use a washcloth. I just take my hands and just work the product into my skin for a, probably one to two minutes. And then I rinse it off. And then your skin just feels, oh my gosh, it smells great. It feels great. And this is another mask that in about 24 hours I notice a difference. You definitely want to keep in mind that when you're using masks, you definitely want to use it 48 to 72 hours before a big event because it is going to pull all of the BS out of your skin. So you're probably going to have a breakout or two because it's pulling out like all the toxins in your skin, all of the, the unnecessary oils that aren't supposed to be there. So you might break out, you know, in one or two places. So you definitely don't want to mask before a big event. You want to do this maybe a good weekend before a big event, but definitely 48 hours beforehand. But to me, I feel like with this mask, you definitely notice a difference within 24 hours. Your skin just changes, it feels good. Even with this, you, the amount of moisturizer you use is very minimal because your, your skin already feels so, so moisturized it already feels so moisturized. So I love this stuff. You guys definitely should check it out. Of course, I will link the info to it below. I absolutely love it. But honestly, I think Glam Glow has a mask for every skin type and there is no way you're going to be disappointed. This is the product, the second product that I've used from this line and it is, it is superb. It's not good, it's not great, it is wow, it is fantastic. When I wanna reset my skin, those are the things I do when I mask. I definitely, you know, do a little steam process. It works so well, especially when you add that peppermint oil or even the green tea bag. And it really just kind of opens up your skin. That way you can get the maximum benefits out of your mask that's what works for me anyway and like I said I have like sensitive slightly combination skin so just keep that in mind I have larger pores as well so I definitely want a mask that's gonna definitely pull everything out of those pores so my face doesn't look crazy I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found uh, found it helpful if you guys use any mask that you absolutely love please let me know in the comments below I'm always looking for new products to try not that I need to buy anything else but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you haven't, of course, please subscribe to my video and like this video if you're interested in seeing more beauty focused kind of product heavy videos kind of that I talk through like this. And check out Mattyology.com. I will talk to you guys later and see you guys in my next video. Bye. It has a matte finish and to me that is like the ultimate kind of combination for lipstick.